Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practice and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearer arms. I'm still writing songs. Never wanna leave my home. Stay in the sheets, sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising, stack piling. She got her own money. We just high fiving sexual organs. Cause that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use use Lancome, but my product's way fucking better, shoot stack hey, cheddar, hey, uh, I know you're waiting for another episode, uh, another episode, I know you've been waiting for another episode, I know you've been waiting, yeah, let it fucking go. Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed can of brew from the fucking stove What's good, y'all? You know, I just be having to text shit, make sure everything goody. What's good, y'all? Damn. This shit kind of loud, though. What's happening? Get my cloak right, man, so I can stay, stay warm in this bitch. Kind of iced out in this hole. Welcome back to another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. I'm Lord Shuex, a polymath based out of Georgia. If you're watching this from outside of Twitch, please make a Twitch account so that you can subscribe to the channel at Tier 1 if you got Amazon Prime for free. And if you subscribe at Tier 3 on Lord of Perfected Work or the Shoe Loves Rebels channel, I will give you all my latest projects for free when they officially drop. If you haven't been to my website, shoelovesrebels.com, you should go check it out because it got a lot of shit on there that y'all will fuck with. Got some stores. It got my music on there. All great things as such. And we got that out the way. What's good, y'all? What's happening? Shit. Oh, shit. I got to change something on the stream real quick. Give me a sec. I got to make it right. Gotta do it right. So if y'all watched me earlier, you know, I I was uh on on Sunday, Mon Mondays, and Wednesday I do music live right here on the channel. Uh, I make music, I make the instrumental live, and then also write the verse, and I spit it live on the channel so y'all can see. It. So. It is key that on Sunday, Monday, and Wednesdays at 12 p.m., y'all get up with your boy, because I be on here making music. Motherfucking making music. So, that being said, y'all know I got to let y'all know what's going on in the world of the Lord Shoe X. Just been having epiphanies with self a lot lately. A lot of shit going on out here in the world that just kind of makes you want to go on an in, a inner journey. A lot of shit I've been seeing about how uh, it, I keep hearing the same information. Now, I don't know how true it is, and I really don't care because I'm not. This is not a fear monger channel. This is a channel for self ascension, self growth, basically for self. If you if you want to be your best self, watch this channel because. 
all that fear monger shit. Oh man, we we got like look. You should already be learning how to garden. If you don't know how to plant a fucking seed, you should be already learning how to do that. You should already know how to take care of a yard. You should already know how to fucking decipher between what's good water and what isn't good water. You should already know what to use all the spices and herbs and shit for, like the basic shit at least. You know what I'm saying? So it shouldn't be a panic. Only reason there's a panic is because people... I'm going to tell you why it's a panic. Because first off, people in the world have lost, got, gotten lost in the ways of how taking care of the world is and how shit used to be. They didn't got so focused on mass media, which the ma- it, it'd be different if mass media was as cool as all the underground shit that be out, like this Twitch channel. If this was mass media and, and I was giving you the real news at, all the time, every day, but see, that's the thing. You don't really know the real news unless you're all over the world traveling and finding this shit out yourself and seeing it for yourself. So for you to even trust a motherfucker to tell you what's going on in the world off rip, that off rip and all these nations work together to do that shit off rip. It's like, fuck that shit. I'd rather just not know what the fuck going on. I'd rather just be prepared for anything that could happen. See, that's what any smart person would do, right? People who watch this channel, y'all probably do shit like that. But I'm going to just keep it real with you. Everybody ain't built like that, man. Everybody ain't built to want to lead themselves and follow what's true to them. See, if everybody in the world thought like that, half the fucking problems we got going on wouldn't even exist because most of it is perpetuated through fucking visuals on on a box. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't, it's not real information that that people can really build a a real lifestyle from because for one you don't even know you you can't even cite the source of this shit on your own you will have to honestly go to that country to find out the news you will have to go to that country be there for at least a, a, a month to know what the fuck really going on in that country and you gotta think on a political scale you'll never know what's going on going on in any country because number one you got to have clearance. <laughs> Only way you'll know what's really going on in the world, for real, for real, is if you are all over the world. Straight up. Everything else that's going on out here is, is told to you by somebody else from their perspective. And it's given to you through their perspective. By some, by some shit that they own. So, you got to understand where I'm coming from when I tell you that this channel here is for self-growth. You should, like I said, you should already be knowing how to plant food, how to take care of animals, how to, uh, how to farm, how to, how to, uh, uh, fucking do iron work and, and create tools and shit on your own. You should already know how to engineer the basic shit that you need to survive. Like that's, that's a given. Only reason people panicking about anything, especially when the news got some something, something to say and people start panicking, it's because they're afraid that their their comfortability is fucking up in the smoke. It's in the wind. That's the only reason why people panic when some shit come on the news like, oh, uh, y'all should be worried about this. Or or when I see it on social media about how motherfuckers saying that the government paying farmers to burn their crops and, and the fucking... And they paying uh, people, companies to dump their oil and shit like that. Like, okay, but we we know this affects you personally because it affects the earth. If that news were true. But you see how already, oh shit, you not you don't know, now you anxious. That shit puts you in a state of anxiety. It puts you in a state of fear. These people fucking they feed off of that shit, man. It don't matter if it's true or not, bro. What's true to you? If you already prepared for anything to take place within your means, then you good, right? But see, a lot of people, they like being comfortable and not having to worry about doing shit. That's why governments even exist. If everybody was self-sufficient, self-employed, self-everything, resources came from their own own hands, nobody would give a fuck what the government was saying. Honestly, a government wouldn't exist. 
Only reason, matter of fact, I'll tell you why government exists because it's a bunch of leaders out here, right? Now, in ancient times, right, people had motherfucking confederations that they built. That's why you had the confederacy that happened in America. A bunch of leaders came together and said, all right, we're all going to agree on this shit. And they just so happened to agree on slavery. But, you know, I'm not going to get into that. But I'm saying, one person finds a bunch of resources. Another group of people finds resources. And, oh, but you, you farming resources off of my land. Well, you farming resources off of my land. Well, when it comes to that type of shit, already it's fucked up. Because you got a bunch of different tribes, right? They all got resources, but tribes might wander into another tribe's area where they getting resources. And this tribe might be like, well, we hunted these lands for such and such amount of years. What makes you think you can come over here? Hence why government's created. So they can manage resources, manage how land and all that shit is taking, you know, taking place, how ownership can be taken care of, how laws can be handled when some some other tribe comes into another tribe country and chop their fucking heads off. That's the only reason why governments exist. So, I put it to you like this. If everybody can't come together and figure it out on a level where, okay, we don't need a government, but we can manage ourselves. We don't have to go around. It's, it's always going to be that one person that fucking goes crazy. So, what, what do you do? You know what I'm saying? What can you do? Many people have gone to college for years to try and figure this shit out on an independent level. If you create a million entrepreneurs, you're going to have a million people trying to shop some kind of resource to people. It's already happened. That's why capitalism is so big. You create communism. You One person takes all the resources and distributes them however way they see fit to the people. We already seen communism don't work because always the person that's elected the leader first off is usually an evil person they find their means through they find their means through any way to become in power because all power is is a shaman finding their way using their fucking wit and strategic ideals to get to a certain point so you sit here and you think about all this shit it makes you wonder well everybody talks about how capitalism is evil and how this is evil and how that is evil but no one has come up with a real solution so the best thing that you can do for yourself is to govern yourself while you inside of the demon while you inside of the beast because only way the only way shit like that will ever happen is everybody start adopting the principle of a global mindset of global citizenship when you go to other people's countries and you fully adapt to their customs, when you go over here and you fully adapt to their customs and you go back home and you fully adapt, you have all the customers of the world inside of you, right? You can go anywhere in the world and it'll be like you live there because you know everything about that culture. But see, you know how much information one person would have to take inside of themselves to be able to do that all over the world and to truly be a part of each culture? See, that's the thing. The type of people that do that is the people who are born on this planet to do that. See, I can do that. I can go anywhere in the world and adopt the culture of that world, learn the language of that country, of that of that country, and then start to go and be a part of it and uh, uh, be involved in the political parts of it, helping helping create social conscious change. In, in wherever place you go by understanding where you're at and what's affecting those people and how many of those people are being affected by that particular thing it's called global citizenship I write about this in my book too because I just feel like the best way that a leader a, there's leaders all over the world right now imagine if every leader in the world was a polymath and by polymath, I mean somebody who is a master of many, many things. If imagine them having the knowledge, the master knowledge in philanthropy, social sciences, you know, political science, finance, all the shit to properly run a country. And you just a leader and you just wherever you go, you create social change any place that you go. Right. Now, there's people who have done this throughout our history. 
and they've run their own countries. An example of this would be Gandhi, which is why Gandhi is so important and remembered because he did this exact thing. It didn't matter where Gandhi was at. Gandhi knew pretty much everything about where he was at to an extent. He knew enough to know that some of the problems that are happening in, you know, his, where he was from was happening all over the world. See, when somebody stand on some shit that they believe in, it's easy to understand people from a certain perspective. So you go into all these places in the world trying to figure out, okay, well, I know the, the fashion customs here. So I need to dress like this while I'm here. Well, I know that I need, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you putting on the, the costume, you playing the role of where you are to be able to help create social change. Because that's really what a, a real master of this world that's that's how you do it real shit you want to make some shit pop you can go anywhere in the world man as you are but with those customers within you and you're gonna win Le leave all the major shit out of it that affects people too like religion uh shit fucking p politics honestly you leave all that shit out and focus on the real social issues that's taking place around you. Like, pollution affects everybody. Uh, climate change affects everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit that affects everybody. Hunger affects everybody. Not having a, enough resources affects everybody. You go all around the world and plant gardens all around the world and help people be self-sustainable, self-sufficient, right? That's one way you could do it. But see, that's the thing, man. It's hard for people to adapt to that type of shit because they, one, a lot of people in the world have gotten used to following a certain type of shit, man. Like, it's just easy to do that. It's easier to do that. And I feel bad for people sometimes because that's that's the problem. That's honestly the problem. They put in their faith too much in people who don't give a fuck about them. Use them as, you know, cattle and, and it's just ridiculous, man. But alas, the biggest thing that I, I want to say in this stream is that if if you want to make it a change, first, you got to change yourself. That's automatic. But if you want to make a change, you got to become a global citizen, not just a citizen of where you are, but a global citizen. Wherever you travel to, you have to be able to. Not even be able, you have to want to make social change where you are. If you want to see some change in the world, you got to start start where you are. Be prominent where you are first and then work your way up. See, it's shit around here I could be doing, right? Same thing where you are. It's shit that can change where you are. As long as you start on, you start on the level where you at and you work your way up. Because shit can always be changed. Even if it's kids not having enough fucking bicycles, save a, a shit ton of money and go buy a bunch of fucking bicycles. Create a GoFundMe and put in the GoFundMe, I, I'm a, if y'all give me this much money, I'm going to buy a thousand bicycles for, for kids in my city. You know what I'm saying? Shit, that's why GoFundMe's exist. GoFundMe is a, that is a, a way to manage a very small, uh, Damn, what's them shit's called? Non-profit organization. The the organization ain't making money. We taking the money that you donating to this shit and we giving it back. And there's people all over the world who's in better positions than what you might be able to. As long as you got a good campaign, bro, you win. But that's how I got to start. Because then people start to trust you. And the more you do them shits, you got to be able to build the trust of the people. You can do this shit anywhere in the world. You can start a GoFundMe for, man, it's kids in my community ain't got no food. So I'm y'all donate a thousand dollars. I'ma buy a hundred lunches or some shit. You can do this shit anywhere in the world, man. You don't have to do it in just America. When you go travel to a different country, you can do that shit in that country. Y'all donate. I'm going to, I'm going to my fucking, I don't know. I'm going to third world country. I don't think third world countries exist, but I'm just using that word as an example or that phrase. I'm going to go to this this said third world country and uh, shit, kids over there ain't got enough erasers and notebooks. So y'all donate $2,000 as the goal and I'm going to buy all these kids uh, 
erasers and notebooks. Like, this shit is not even that hard, bro. Anybody can do this shit. Real talk. Anybody can do this shit. But I digress because people just want power to do stupid shit. I promise you. But y'all know what it is, man. I'ma just drop that that bar today because I just want people to be more in tune with with themselves and creating real change. That's that's all I care about in this world is change. How can we how can we on a planetary level work together? If everybody got GoFundMe accounts, right? That's that's a terrible example. Start a business, man. Okay? Start a business that's private to your family. Start a business that's private to your family and create shit. Just create a bunch of shit. It don't matter. It don't matter what it is. Just create mad shit. Once you done created a bunch of shit, after that, you y'all sift through the ideas and just start going out into the community with these ideas. After that, the rest of that shit will lead the way. Straight up. You won't have to do nothing else after that. Because on the real... People gonna, people gonna start seeing, man, this guy really wants to change shit in our community. He has all these ideas and he keeps coming out with them, right? See, when you just do shit that you, when you try to do things to get money, people know that. People notice that. So you gotta give something, give give people something of real value to partner up with that shit so they have a reason. Yeah, you, you might make good music. You might change the... the you might change the spectrum of music and how shit, how the music shit supposed to sound. That's cool. That's what you're supposed to do. If you're an artist, you know what I'm saying? If you're delivering music that's culturally shifting, you changing the sound of music, then cool. Do that shit. But if you're just making music to kill the culture, you know, not even kill the culture because the culture dead already. Culture been dead. I don't believe in culture. I believe in one world, one heart. We all got fucking feelings and we all have emotions that we go through, right? How can we work together to to help each other understand these emotions on an intimate level? See, people not thinking about shit like that. They thinking about, I'm going to make this this trap song talking about fucking up my community, fucking up these, these women in my community, fucking up the dudes in my community, making them go do some stupid shit because of what we deem is the only way out. Well, that's your perspective. So why all y'all have the same perspective feeding it to the masses? People start to believe that that's y'all's perspective, right? Y'all talking about it and y'all telling stories, and that's great, man. Because you're raising awareness, but you're not raising the white awareness. It'd be like this much awareness in the shit. Because y'all glorify the shit more than anything. It don't never be nothing that, that can create real growth in a community, bro. I just don't see it. Yeah, you might make... Tens of millions of dollars off the masses of fucking people who listening to the shit and you give back to your hood. But you got to change your hood for real, bro, if you're going to do it. Like, you really got to change the hood, man. You got enough money to buy people out of this shit or at least enough money and power to go to community leaders who going to change it, right? And most of these niggas be claiming they thugs and shit. Ain't killed no motherfucking body in politics, which I'm not saying kill anybody in politics. What I'm saying is y'all y'all easily can kill a civilian in your hood that got a different flag on, but you won't stop somebody who actually bringing the oppression to your ass. That's why I'm just like, you know what? I can't I can't keep listening to these motherfuckers making this type of shit because at the end of the day. It's, it leads nowhere. It's a cycle that leads nowhere. All this shit that's going on, it's our cycles that lead no motherfucking where. So I'm going to just leave, I'm going to leave the stream on this note. If you got a vision to change the world, holla at me because I'm always down the fucking, I'm always on some building shit anyways. That's just, that's just the first, okay? Second, Carry that shit out, man. Real talk. Carry that shit out. If you believe, you can do that shit. It's already people in the world doing fucked up shit. Right? That means they manifested they will, so why why can't you? It's just a, it's just as much fuck shit going on in the world as it is good shit, man. 
Don't let don't let the fucking news tell you what's going on when you already know within yourself that's a fact. Because, yeah, there's people who live fucked up, but there's people who live really good. Obviously, we seeing them doing this shit in the world, right? If you in the middle, that's perfect. Because that means you can see both sides of the spectrum. How can you how can you help yourself help others? Cause first you gotta understand yourself first. To help anybody. Three, travel as much as you fucking can to as many places as you fucking can financially. If you can't afford it, find a way, man. Be strategic. It's programs that that literally will let you go anywhere in the world, bro. You just gotta know how to work this shit. It don't matter if it's a pandemic, all that shit. Do what you got to do to get the fuck around the world. If you got to get your bag up and buy a plane, your motherfucking self, do what you got to do to get the fuck around the world. All right? Do what you got to motherfucking do. Because right now, it seems like it's impossible, but I promise you it's not. You being set up already. This shit is... The, you watching this stream, you being set up already if you want to make some change in the world. Whether it be good or evil. But just know, your consequences... Or your actions come with consequences, whether they be bad or good by whatever standard you live by. If you got to do evil to do good, whatever. If you got to do good to do evil, whatever. I don't believe in none of that shit. I believe in there's a path where doing the right, doing not even the right shit. There's a path where following your truth, your truth is aligned with the truth of what is, okay? Everybody is on that shit. Some people find their glory in what they supposed to because that's, that's what the fuck they supposed to do. But you gotta really know yourself. Alright? Anyways, it's Lord Shuex. You just got done watching another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. If you're watching this outside of... If you're watching this outside of Twitch, please make a Twitch account and subscribe so you know when I go live. Turn on your notifications. Uh, check out my channel and my website so you know when I'm going to stream and if something came up in my schedule because I normally post it on there. Anyways, it's Lord Shoe X. I'm out this bitch. I'm out this bitch. Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed can of brew from the fucking stove